This is day seven of making one hundred thousand dollars, guys. And today I just want to talk talk to you guys about what Babylon Babylon JS actually is. This whole program is made with Babylon JS. Babylon JS is, is basically a JavaScript library that allows us to input three D or sorry, integrate and implement three D graphics in the browser. Now you're probably asking, well, this doesn't look like a browser. Well, I am actually coding this thing in Electron JS, which allows us to use it as a desktop application and what does that actually mean that means that we can package this and actually sell it as a game now babylon js you actually have to import it i've just imported the cdn which stands for content digital something i don't know what the n stands for uh, console content digital network i think that is what it stands for so you don't have to download this library you can just literally pinpoint to to a server somewhere which means the internet so what does it actually do? Well, we basically, you, if any of you guys have ever developed a, a video game in uh, developed games in Unity, you will probably like uh, find some re resemblance. Wait, what is it called? Resemblance? Yeah, you'll probably find something like that in here. You have the, you have to create like a scene. You have to create a canvas. Canvas is basically this whole thing. You have to create a scene. You have to implement the what is called the Babylon JS engine. You have to set up camera and set its position to actually view this whole uh, to view to view the scene. You also have to create light and the ground, which you see here. Uh, what kind of lightning do you want? And we basically built this. This is actually really cool. And it we've also included physics. So look at this. This is some of the coolest stuff that you will ever see. Uh, what else? Create a ground, create the bottle. We just created a cylinder and a cone. Um, position the bottle above the ground. That is all these things. Create dynamic texture for the logo. Add event listeners, create pop-up elements. Add physics to the scene, right? So all of these things, this is something that you can learn. And you can also do it yourself by playing around with Babylon JS. So you can create your own video games or, or your own 3D simulations or whatever with Babylon JS and I highly recommend you guys to actually go check it out.